Oh, What's Johnny Boy, <laughs> the pipes, the pipes are calling. What's going on? It's me, From Nando. Glen to Glen <laughs> and down the mountainside. Oh, it's good to be back, guys. The it's summer's so good gone to be back. and all <laughs> the roses falling. The boys are it's back. It's you, it's you, <laughs> must go and I must bite. So for people, but that come don't... ye back. <laughs> no, we okay, can't no, spend done. all ten I'm minutes done, I'm done, I'm done, singing I'm done, about I'm Quibi. Done. We have to talk about Quibi. <laughs> what a we podcast are... for us to come back. The gang is back together. No oh movie today, just Quibi. Mm-mm-mm. So we are recording our episode, but we're also recording a quick bite of a ten minute long episode oh. that is just us talking about Quibi. Because guys, Quibi. I'm sure we all saw the news. I'm sure most of you guys saw the news. This is an emergency episode, so I'm sure you see the title of this. But Quibi has fallen. Uh, uh, poor one out for Quibi. Yeah. I mean, it six months was longer than I think <laughs> any of us thought it would go when it started. <laughs> well, it beat um, all the odds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, for people that don't know, they know. a tiny bit of the audience... <laughs> The Quibi is is uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg and what's her name? Mae Whitman or Meg Whitman or something like that. Former um, HP lady. Yeah, potential <laughs> cabinet member for Joe Biden. Uh, so just in, <laughs> just in time. Apparently, that's what I read the other day. Um, it was their streaming service where you could watch a quick bite of 10 minutes of content. Uh, whatever orientation you wanted on your phone, there were only two rules. You had to watch it on your phone and you could never show anyone. Uh, and the content had to be bad. I guess three rules, so it didn't really go anywhere. And um, and marketing was confusing, and now it's dead. It's dead. It's oh. dead. And it's gone. We're living in a post Quibi world, guys. We are, guys. I really have to ask: How could a billion dollar venture or two billion dollar venture, yeah, uh, that nobody wanted or liked, uh, based on no research? Uh, how could it possibly have failed? I, you know what? I blame Chrissy. I, I don't think her court was no, fair. Don't blame Chrissy. Chrissy's going through some stuff. Blame, blame Gary Busey, who we were supposed to get but never did get. I blame oh him. Wait, what? Right. Oh wait, no. I thought that was Pe- Amazon. Oh, was that Amazon? Was that not Quibi? Yeah, I think we're uh, gonna get that one. Trust oh yeah, me, we're I, getting I, a full thirty minutes of Gary Busey. Come yeah. on! Yeah, all right. We can blame. blame. How about we blame Ibr- Idris or Block? Yeah, both. Whichever of the Block and Elba team. Uh, Hemsworth, Let's... totally, totally get him. Little yeah. baby, not famous Hemsworth, but not not famous Hemsworth, like not... middle famous Hemsworth. Not Luke, the... but not Chris. Yes, exactly. And not the fictional one. Uh, oh, from yeah, the from good the good place. place. Yeah. I think, listen, Quibi, yeah, it's a, let's say a nice thing about Quibi. Uh, it worked well. It was a good app. You know, stupid concept. It was a fu- functional application, which is N- more N- than N- I can no. say for like HBO Max and shit. How long are you going to keep up this fiction that you didn't <laughs> love Quibi? I did for real, Quibi. bro. I just wanted the rest of you guys to say a nice thing. <laughs> I have plenty of nice things to say. I think some of the content on Quibi was good. I think the Reno 911 reboot was funny. I think Ma- uh, Maplewood Murders or whatever it's called was also super funny. Um, but nobody watched them because they – I think if they launched with those two shows, they might have had something. Because um, they could market something and be like, people like this thing we made. But they couldn't do that because they didn't like – any. no one liked any of their things. But so Nando, you do you still have the app? Oh God, uh, no, I don't think I do. I was going to say I if you, it. I want to know what I happens know. if you open the app today. Is so like say sorry, closed for business? Like I'm curious. Well, oh, is it okay. shut down right now, or they just announced that it is shutting down? It's a great question. I would imagine it is shutting down because I I'm I doubt they'll. Yeah, it is shutting down. So for. For a little bit of information, um, it's uh, – let's see. Um, they decided to shut it down in an effort to return as much capital to investors as possible. Oy. Um Wasn't it like almost $2 billion, I think, in capital? Yeah. It was – oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. That's a pretty – that's not that much money when you really think about it. You can only make four Avengers movies, the last one. 
the one that made two billion dollars. So really, it's mm. like right. you're losing money if you're not spending it. Uh, it it's unsure, it's unclear, I guess, right now what's happening in the future of the company from this article. Um, but they're trying to sell it, and they were. It seems like they were thinking about restructuring and, and things like that. So, yeah. But uh, as I really, of now, it's unclear. I really feel like it's worth pointing out that Quibi managed to last shorter than Movie Pass. Mm-hmm. Oh God, that's oof. which was, if anything, an even worse idea. No, Movie yeah. Pass was a great idea because, Mo- like, Movie Pass was a great idea for us. Okay, <laughs> sure. I mean, it was you, a worse idea. It was a terrible idea for the company. You could argue that in a pre-pandemic world, a lot of these movie theaters had adopted the um, <clears throat> the uh, the Movie Pass model. So, how bad of an idea was it? A very That's bad true. one. They failed miserably. <laughs> I mean, they, they, uh, yeah, they were worse. I would say, I don't know. Quibi is one of this. It's so, it's so strange. They had all the worst shows on one device. <laughs> yeah, like, I think that was Quibi's biggest failing: is yeah. that all of its content was bad. Except Not that Princess that yeah. Bride movie. I will stand behind Princess that Bride Princess Bride, Bride movie as that it was, it was good. All I right. think that stupid movie we watched as a group was kind of fun. I it think was, that made for a yeah. good episode of podcast. I, for I mean, our yes. again, for our purposes, yes. Yeah, but and I think a, I think a person could like have a drink or two, watch it, have a good time at home. Like that could that it's could a be low for, bar though. Oh, and uh, by the way, we didn't mention this. There's no way this won't all show up on Netflix in like two weeks or something. Yeah, like, this is all gonna that, go somewhere. The biggest thing was that Quibi didn't own any of the content. Yeah, so like it's yeah, a- anyone can buy most dangerous game or but and we've talked about this i guess it's only with the movies but like yeah you could buy it but you can't edit the most dangerous game into an actual movie because it's of the format you you could you could probably stitch it together into a movie it's just gonna be a movie with bizarre editing or like what the 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 dummy movie that like the it was edited pretty well for quibi how are you gonna turn dummy into something that is on Netflix. Is it going to be on well, Netflix in the 10 minute bites? Um, I mean, yeah, to, short form shows exist. And right. to be fair, I don't know about you guys, but I watched the movie we're about to be talking about on the Peacock app, and Me I got too. a commercial every 10 minutes anyway out of <laughs> nowhere. That, so oh, I yeah. think you could probably the, throw this on the Peacock app and it would work better than if you watched it in one sitting. That's true. Those, because those little yeah, those cliffhangers commercials would keep you. Savage on Peacock. Yeah, I can't. I can't believe. I mean, compared to Peacock, they're they're just as bad. Except Peacock has Office or whatever. Um, also, House like, for some reason, even though that was a Fox show. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's I, a, that's, I wonder. T- TV rights are strange because like things that air on ABC are owned by Warner Brothers. It doesn't matter. This does not matter. But um, I think. I mean, I have a feeling some of those shows will probably show up on Peacock. I think Peacock would be smart to snap up a couple of them. Yeah. The one I, that's I made agree. by the 30 Rock people, the Ma- Maple Wood Murder, I think they'll get that eventually. What are you going to um, do about the shows that, like, there was the one, and this would have been a good one to do for the podcast, but it came out, like, after we our subscriptions ended. The, the one about the kid who's, like, stranded and, like, if you flip your phone one way, it's one movie, and if you flip your phone the other, it's a different movie. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, my God. I don't even know about that movie. Yeah, I don't even know what them. you're talking about. Oh, dude. Okay, so... Hold on. All right, we're getting on the 10 minutes, by the way, DJ. So shit, 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 quick. I need to look this up. It's very important. Okay, Quibi survival movie. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. It was called uh, Survive. Wow, it was actually called Survive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How did they fail with a movie like that named, named Survive? My they favorite the thing, survival so, market. My favorite thing about movies is when they're named about the thing that they are. <laughs> oh, love it. When their plane crashes on a remote snow-covered mountain, Jane and Paul have to fight for their lives as the only remaining survivors. Together, they embark on a harrowing journey out of the wilderness. And, like, the premise is this kid, like, has to get out using his phone because the phone is the greatest of all devices. There's, oh, there's nothing greater than the phone. Quibby. So... <laughs> 
30 <laughs> second Maybe. warning. Okay. So, All right. Well, anyway. anyway. So if you flip your phone one way, then you see his adventure play out one way. And if you flip the phone the other way, you see his adventure play out in a different way. So how are they going to do that? That's all. I'm done. I, I think anyway. this is a great example of why Quibi didn't work. This is not <laughs> enough time to talk about something. Um, so sorry, Quibi. Listen to our podcast, Mostly Nitpicking. I'm Nando. Uh, I'm DJ. I'm Diggins. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. We love you. <laughs>